Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. If you like these labs, please consider supporting me via my Patreon or the cryptocurrency options in the description. Also, please subscribe to the channel for more labs like this. This lab will be a little different than other labs. There will be no configurations, although we will use show commands later to confirm our answers. Using the information on the lab topology here, we must answer these questions. In this topology of four switches, we must identify the root bridge, and then which ports are root ports, designated ports, and alternate or blocked ports across all these switches. This should test your knowledge of STP and how STP elections actually work. There could very well be questions similar to this on the test as well, so make sure you can solve problems like this. Let's get started. Which switch is the root bridge? The switch with the lowest bridge ID will become the root bridge. Remember, the bridge ID consists of the priority and the MAC address of the switch. So the switch with the lowest priority will become the root, or if there is a tie, the switch with the lowest MAC address. Well, all four switches have the same priority of 32769, so let's compare the MAC addresses. By looking at the first four characters of each MAC, we can rule out switch 2 and switch 4. Neither of them has the lowest MAC address. Switch 1 and switch 2 have the same first four characters, but if you look at the next four, you can tell that switch 1 has the lowest MAC. So let me type in the answer. Which switch is the root bridge? Switch 1. Now, on the root bridge, all ports are designated ports, so I'll type those in as well. Designated ports, switch 1, F01, F02. Okay, now let's continue. Each of the other three switches will set their interface with the lowest cost to the root as a root port. On switch 2, that's obviously F02, and on switch 3, that's F01. Let me write those down. Now on switch 4, which port is it? Well, F01 is a fast Ethernet interface, so the spanning tree cost will be 19 to switch 2, plus 19 to switch 1, so 38. G01 is a gigabit Ethernet interface, so the cost will be 4 to switch 3, plus 19 to switch 1, so 23. Therefore, G01 will be the root port on switch 4. Now, the interface across from a root port has to be designated. So switch 3's G01 interface will be designated also. Now the question is, which port is blocked? Switch 2's F01 interface or switch 4's F01 interface? To determine this, we first compare the root cost, the total cost to the root bridge. Switch 2 has a lower cost to the root bridge, so its F01 interface will be designated, and Switch 4's F01 interface will be blocked. Okay, let's check our answers with some show commands. I'll go on Switch 1 first. Enable Show Spanning Tree. This bridge is the root, and F01 and F02 are indeed designated ports. Next, let's go on switch two. Enable, show spanning tree. F01 is designated and F02 is the root port. Great, now let's check on switch three. Enable, show spanning tree. F01 is the root port and G01 is designated. Finally, let's check on switch four. Enable, show spanning tree. F01 is alternate, meaning it is blocked, and G01 is the root port. Okay, our answers are correct. This has been a fairly short lab, but hopefully you were able to improve your understanding of spanning tree protocol. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this which will be released weekly.
If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave Verified Publisher and accept BAT or Basic Attention Token donations in the Brave browser.